This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this reflective text effect using GIMP, where it looks like your text is sitting beneath the horizon of this image and is being reflected in the water and taking on the characteristics of the rippling water. So I'll go ahead and get started here uh, in GIMP with this image. Go ahead and download this image. I'll have it linked in the description of the video. The first thing I want to do is just change the foreground color right here. I want to use 273758. Uh, it's, it's just a dark dull shade of blue. You don't have to use that specific color. Any dark color should work. And I'm just going to add some text right here. So I'll grab the text tool. I already have my font set. I chose the font Lead Gothic. Again, you can use any font you'd like. I'm just using this one. I have my size set at 627. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and click on here. And I'm just going to use GIMP as some placeholder text. And you can adjust your size over here depending on which size image you downloaded. This is the 1920 by 1280 copy that I downloaded. So this size text right here works pretty good. So I'll put that back up. And what I'm going to do now is grab the move tool and I'm just going to position this text right about here noticing where the horizon is because I'm going to have it as you see in the thumbnail I have the bottom portion of the text cut off because because I want to have it look like it's sitting behind the horizon there. Um, I'll just place that there like that. And once I've done that I'm going to grab the uh, rectangle select tool and I'm just going to click and drag to create a selection over the bottom half and I'm going to zoom in on this by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel and I'm just going to size this box up to the pixel so that the top of it is sitting on the very last pixel of the horizon there. You can move the page around by holding pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And let me zoom back out. Once we've done that I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that or if you're using a Mac you can go to select uh, all right, no, I'm sorry. Edit, clear, because delete doesn't work with the Mac, uh, as far as I've been told. And once we've done that, we can go to select none. Let me zoom out a little bit. And what I want to do now is I want to create a duplicate copy of this and use it as the reflection. So I'm going to grab the move tool. And with this top layer up here selected, I'm going to click this button that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And then I'll just click and drag this copy down here and I'm going to hold down control so it locks it onto the vertical axis and now I just want to flip that vertically so I'm going to come over here to the flip tool and I want to choose vertical and then just go ahead and click on the image it's going to flip it vertically now let me just grab the move tool and move that back up I'm going to again holding control to lock it onto the vertical axis and place it flush up against the the uh, the bottom portion of the uh, the original text there. And what I want to do now is give it a little bit of a motion blur going from left to right as you see here because uh, when, when you want to reflect something in water it's not going to look perfectly clear with crisp edges like you see here originally. It's going to be a little bit faded. So in order to make it look realistic I'm going to go to uh, filters, blur, motion blur and I'm going to use uh, linear and for the length we want 18 and for the angle we want 0 and then we can go ahead and click OK and there you can see it gave it a little bit of left to right motion blur. What I'm going to have to do now is zoom back in on this again holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel I'm just going to move this over to the right a little bit so that it's sitting up against so that each letter is sitting up against each other like that and once we've done that what we want to do next is we want to make these letters take on the characteristics of the water behind it. So in order to do that, we're going to, we're going to use what's called a displacement map. And in order for the displacement map to work, we're going to have to make sure that this text layer is the same size as the layer we want to use as the, as the displacement map, which in this image will be this, this layer down here, the image of the, uh, the water. So let me go back up to this copied, copied uh, text. I'm going to go to layer, layer to image size. And once we've done that we can go to filters, map, displace. And what I'm going to do now is from this drop down I'm going to choose this water image from for both the X and the Y axis. If you don't see your image down here as an option that means you don't have those two layers set at the same size. So make sure to click on all every layer and go to layer layer to image size like I just did. And once we've done that we want the X displacement set at 50 and the Y displacement set at 50. Again this is assuming if you're using the 1920 by 1280 size image that I'm using. If not you may want to adjust it accordingly. Uh, you can change the size of the window over, over here to see 
uh, a preview. It doesn't really give you a good preview, but if you make this a little bigger, there we go. If you notice here, it's giving you a little bit of a preview. So that should give you a sense. I think by default, it gives you like 20 or something like that. And it just, it doesn't, it just doesn't do enough. So for this one, I'm going to use 50. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And as you can see here, let me hold control and roll up the mouse wheel. You can see it took the image and used the water texture as a reference. So what I'm going to do now is I want to bring down the opacity of this a little bit because I have to clean this up. This little bit of this went went rogue up here and, and bled out into the, uh, the sky. So to fix that, I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm just going to hold control while I'm moving this over to the right a little bit to line it back up under the text. And I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and click and drag to create a rectangle going over the top right here. And again, let me zoom back in so I can move the, bound the boundary of the box to the very top pixel of the water right there. Let me zoom back out. Once we've done that, we can press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. Or again, if you're using Mac, edit clear. And now we can go to select none. Uh, I'm going to press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And I'm going to bring the opacity of that all the way back up. And the final step now would be to set the mode, the blend mode of that layer to grain merge. And there you pretty much have it. So as you can see, we have created our reflective text effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.